Don was a remarkable individual. He combined respect for other people, humility, frugality, and generosity. His whole life had been informed by growing up on a farm and learning on that farm the values of hard work, of respect for other people, and he carried that through his whole life. He viewed freedom and organizations in the freedom movement as undervalued assets, and he thought that by directing resources to them, you could get a huge return on investment, not to him personally, but to uh, increase the freedom that people enjoy, because that's the key to prosperity, to peace, and to dignity. Thank you, Don, for your contribution to the movement. Um, freedom fighters like us say in other parts of the world um, are fighting to keep your legacy alive. I come from the Advocate Institute in Sri Lanka, and we're very thankful for um, the commitment and uh, what you've given to the, the movement. Thank you. Hola, my name is Yanina Rafo, I'm from Venezuela, and this is a big thank you to the Smith Family Foundation in the memory of what Don mean to us and what, all the support that he had for Atlas Network and for my organization, Cerise Libertad, uh, back in Venezuela. Uh, every time you see the news and you see how our country is moving a little bit forward to freedom and peace, you should remember Don and all the work that he did to support us and all the support that is still have her, his name and his spirit. I, I learned of Don long before I met him, and it was clear that he was a huge supporter of, of the movement. Don really helped a lot of these organizations start. He kept a lot of organizations going. He didn't ask for anything in return, and his legacy is going to be as a generous advocate of people, of individuals. Thank you, Don, and the entire Smith Family Foundation for supporting young students like us back in Nepal to attend programs like Asian Institute for Political Economy, where we learn about the political economy and, you know, also train ourselves intellectually on going back home and working towards changing the economic scenarios in Nepal and making sure that poor Nepalis then have a shot at their own prosperity through the works that we do through our think tanks. It is very sad, but also very necessary to give Don Smith a very big thank you for all his lifetime of support to the cause of freedom, to the ideas of liberty. Uh, we at the Foundation for the Advancement of Liberty in Madrid, Spain, uh, very much uh, believe that thanks to him we have a better world, and we will try to uh, further his legacy as much as we can. He was very focused on the bottom line. He asked really hard questions. He challenged you constantly. Is this the best way to spend the money? Is that the best return? Is this the most effective uh, method that you're employing? Those are very helpful to me and my colleagues to work with a real businessman like this, someone who understood the importance of getting the most out of your investments. And he helped to shape the Atlas Network's approach to the world as a consequence. His help, his grant helps us to create a network of freedom defender in this region. We are and we will remain always grateful to this wise, humble and very dedicated man. As a lifelong supporter of Atlas, uh, thank you so much for everything that you have done, Don, uh, for this fantastic network. Uh, we will make sure throughout work and the upcoming decades to keep your memory alive. Don was a regular guy, unlike a lot of other people who seem unapproachable. He was a very special person, and uh, tremendous for the movement throughout the world. On a more personal note, I, he was a very good friend. And, uh, for him, it was personal. It was about making the world better, not only for himself, but for other people, many of whom will never be known to him total strangers. He was a humble person. He didn't want to have all the credit and his name on everything. That's the person that he was. Um, but I hope his family knows we're very grateful.